Hello plant friends, my name is Jimmy. I'm a doctor and tropical plant hobbyist in LA and this channel is about plants. So this is going to be either the last or second to last episode in the collector seller series with SoCal Tropics. SoCal Tropics, husband and wife duel, collector, buyer, seller, trader, 17 years of experience. They've done it all. They've seen it all. It was a pleasure and a privilege for me to be able to visit them and be able to share their knowledge and experience and all their amazing, amazing plants with you guys. So if you've watched the last couple episodes, you know that we've sort of made our way through their house, through their living room, the bedrooms, the kitchen, and now we are going to see their backyard. So, so we finally made it outside the house. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Are ficus easy? Are they like... Oh, well, <laughs> they like well-draining soil like air, like aeroids. Yeah. And the light requirements are... I they're mean, pretty Jesus. much the same, bright and direct light. I gotta, I gotta say. take some direct sun. Is this a rare one? I don't even know. This is uh, like... It, it's more of a whiter, whiter version. Extra white. Uh, I'm like, how come this thing is so white? Yeah. This is so amazing. Normally they're more... You yeah, see they're them more, more like, like this. this. Yeah. 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 A little bit of white or a cream or a golden color. So I, mean, I just said, oh, mother I mean, stock. <laughs> and I love her. She's so pretty. So how do you actually propagate this? You, you can water propagate. You just cut a, a cutting and you put it in a, and it'll just wow. right a little cutting. They require the heat though. Oh. Yeah. But so, some amount of propagation. Holy mo I mean, this is a really, really stunning plant. Mm -hmm. Wow. I mean. I like its shape whew. right now. It's so pretty. Yeah, this is... I saw very, that amongst the nice. standard ones, and I'm, uh -huh. it was just sticking out, and I just said, and I had to go sit there and guard it while Jack was looking at other plants. I'm like, hey, nobody. Actually, <laughs> I think, yeah, I bought this little one, Off and it went, went back to the same oh, place. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Where they oh, were yeah. growing these little ones from. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, wow, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a super nice one. Yeah, I love it. That's great. Can this, would this, do ficus grow indoors? Would they? Would it be okay? You can in bright, indirect light. I like. It, it just needs more light. Is it, that what, it does. Is that what it, it really is? does. Yeah. Now this can handle more sun coming in from a window yeah. compared to sun outside in yeah. elements, in yeah. natural element. But ficus in general, they prefer it outside uh -huh. or just very, very bright and some sun coming on its leaves, and that goes for the elasticas as well. Yeah. Um, they can go inside, but they really do better outside. Mm -hmm. And this is the ficus uh, elastica sherviana. Yeah. And this is very commonly found in yeah. Australia. Oh, okay. But very rare here in the U.S. Oh. I've got right. her, and I'm trying to propagate some babies. <laughs> used to be in Thailand quite a bit at one point, but they don't even have them anymore. Yeah, these used to be commonly found in Thailand, but Thailand just went to aeroids and kind of forgot about them <laughs> and this one i got from kunzo in japan oh okay and it is just a ficus alaska decora it mm -hmm. doesn't have a specific name mm -hmm. i'm excited to see it grow every ficus even heard that we got from thailand um came in this size and the next season they get this big they wow. go from that to what? Where, yes. Those are fairly new plants. Yes. Right so these probably next summer, at the end of next summer, will be almost as big as her. What? Yes. That's wow. what we're finding. And, and they always struggle at first. But from, when they get from going, Thailand? Wow. Yeah, I got this one from Japan and this oh, yeah. one from Thailand. And she was very small. And they just take off wow. the next season. And then I assume, what, you cut this and then you, you can just like make a new plant? Yes. Um, we cut them and I do cuts on in between yeah and that's where the you know the uh the new growth is going to come from and root from uh, so we do cuttings on those and we water root them first and then we have to put them in a mix or they will rot so you have to kind of be just... careful <laughs> yeah. okay so and i'm excited to get wow. this one in collector's hands like uh, i said she's got to grow another season or two but I wanted to know the name, but this is stunning when it gets big. And it it has on its new growth in the big leaves like this, the yeah. pink. And then it'll oh, fade yeah. to a white cream. Oh, yeah. This is, so, that's I just, amazing. I really this like is that. a ruby, and that's how the, it grows from Whoa. a single leaf, basically, right there. Does it stay this color? 
Um, it's even more pronounced during the summer months when it gets more sun, but you can see it actually oh, like came these. off of this one right here. We have the tinny. Uh, Holy moly. And, some, and the ruby. Some, the same, same on Yeah, yeah, Here's yeah. Right here, uh, yeah. During the summer months, we take this umbrella away, and it uh, they really pop a color then. Yeah, that, that one right there, that's the um, yellow tanniki. Yeah. Are these, these are pretty common, right? Are these common? They are. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. I was like, I think I've seen these before, but I mean, I'm just not. I just, I love ficus. I'm just not like an expert on, on these, but yeah, this is. We've got the, the lemon line. Yep. Lemon line. Oh. This is not an elastica. This is the altissima. Oof. But it grows very similar. It's, yeah, it seems you can't so. really tell. And we've got... Uh, this is, this I need. This one I love. I love oh, this guy. It's going to look a little ah. wimpy right now because of the uh, time of season. But yeah, then, uh, yeah. yeah it has it, a green it mixed in there. It's oh. a little bit of a lot, but... It's a fried egg. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love, I love this guy. Now, believe it or not, this does not do well, at least for us indoors. We had to move it outside for it to live. Oh. <laughs> they um, are sensitive alocasia. Most, most people have problems with this one, just like, you mm -hmm. know, spider mite issues as yes, opposed to Yes, we have to routinely spray as a preventative. Yeah, routine. yeah, yeah, this is just one of those plants, uh, you know. It's, it's so it's pretty. So pretty. Yeah. <laughs> I love the velvet texture on the leaf. Oh, it's so nice. it's so pretty. It's really like the newer leaves that has like the striking, you know, that dark green. Looks like green a map, a map of the world. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Like little countries. Oh yeah, that's like South, <laughs> like South America <laughs> right there or something. <laughs> oh so. That's oh yeah, that's leaf. so. Like that it, it's a that's it's a great one. Like yeah. it's it's one of those plants. It's like, it's worth the spider mites. Mm -hmm. I feel. Yeah, know. we. We've got so many philodendrons in here. Um, it's like burn. Is this the what the? Let's see. Is it burn these or something. I have here. I've had. I go. Oh. I know this is the Mexicanum because it has the red back, the torn one, but yeah. <laughs> that one. And then I've got in here the hybrid. Where's oh here's the hybrid. Nobody can ID this one uh -huh. right here. Uh -huh. So it's annoyed. Okay. And then I have the Ado. Um, yeah, yes. about Pensy. Yes, yeah. where is she? Um, I saw it earlier. <laughs> it starts a little doobie in there too. You can oh, see a little bit is. of it coming. Here it is. <laughs> oh, okay. Here's the here's the out of a pins. Yeah. Right there. So it's mixed in. I several. It's a good. It's a good mix. And then this one's a, the Saga Tifolium. Oh. Huge leaves, and that yeah. this is a nice one. I love this fill. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Let's see what else so this setup out here, you guys just kind of have like just basically just some shade. shade. Frost cover. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We close the curtains when there's frost expected. That way, it won't inhibit our uh, propagation for the next year. I like that your space. This yard isn't the biggest yard in the world. No. I mean, it's it's a good size. Mm -hmm. It's very well. The space is very well utilized. Mm -hmm. um, we stripped it all the way down to the bones. It was just all grass and standard shrubs. Rose yeah. bushes and red grass. That's good one. What do you guys call it? Everything in here is pretty much what we've added. I mean, this is, yeah, it's we've very... We've only been here four years, so... It's very, it's very zen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're noticing the, the larger leaf fills that we have, they love it outside they just grow like yeah, crazy yeah, we just have so yeah, many kinds yeah and they're just they've tripled in size in a season it seems and it's one of those teeny tiny phalanges up there oh the teeny yeah, tiny yeah yeah that's <laughs> <laughs> not yeah it's a uh, it's, it's yeah it's it's, a, it's sizable what do you do with that one do you take it down you shower with it no we just run a hose over you it just run a hose over uh-huh i mean yeah. Spritz it once a week. I mean, this is this is impressive. Like as in, you know, like I like I like how how you have so many plants and yet you're talking about what your actual maintenance is. Like you guys have gotten really as minimal mm -hmm. as as it can go. I you know. know? Like, yeah. I like it that way. <laughs> we love plants and we just don't want to have to fuss and fuss and fuss. Yeah, and yeah. Oh, what's this thing in the middle right here? Oh, that oh, sorry. Is, oh, is this the hastatum? Yes. Wow. Boy, that grows so fast. This is the silver? Wow. Yes. 
Yeah, this is the silver sword, but it's it's a different. Um, I don't know if it's because of maturity. It's maturity that, and light, I believe. Because it's not. It's definitely not that silvery. Mm -mm. It's uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a really that's a really impressive one. That's huge. It's, 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 <laughs> I, I know mean, it's bending. I mean, it's so I can't heavy even now. like. Yeah, this is. Oh, it's. It's nice. I like it. I like the the stem structure mm -hmm. as well. It's very. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh, mm -hmm. oh. Now I like it a lot more. Actually, seeing that specimen, I, I used to have one and I sold it. But that looks really. That looks really nice. Do you guys notice any difference between your variegated monstera growing out here as opposed to the ones uh, growing inside your house? No, okay. I haven't noticed any difference in growth rate or size of leaf. Uh-huh. Okay. Versus if we put it in the ground or in a pot, the pots grow faster. Oh. It's due to the better soil content and the better conditions. Right. But, um, right. Cheers. I think we've captured a lot of your variegated monstera. So let's just say like in a in a year there's more. This is the one you might want to see. So so in a year you guys like sell like a quarter of it, a twenty percent or so, and then you guys wait so, till it grows some more. How's right. that? We, sometimes we'll even skip a whole season. They're okay. not that fast growing. Yeah. So we'll just kinda just maybe take one or two cuttings one season. Oh, this is the this is the yellow one. Teeny right? baby type tucked way back in there. Oh, way back in there. <laughs> yeah. Little one. But we're gonna grow that up with this one because this is the uh yeah, the large Aria. form seed yeah. seed sport delicious. Oh it's the oh it's a so the sport. Yeah. yeah. It's the, the, the big, the giant leaf for... Yeah, oh, that looks nice. So, so sorry, you were, um, so you're saying there's like some seasons you just kind of like not sell at right. all. Right, because we don't, we don't want to butcher our plants down to a nub. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. we just want to um, give them time to grow. Yeah. And then we'll, they'll uh, never lose their popularity, so we really <laughs> don't have to hurry. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is, that is pretty. Whew. Got and that, oh yeah, this is like a huge say, one. Here's a good example. They're calling this one now the big leaf form. Yeah. And then this is the small leaf form. So <laughs> this is the Borsigiana, which they're yeah. now calling the, the small leaf, leaf form. Yeah. So when people are saying those two words, now you can get an idea of when they say that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> big difference. Yeah, yeah, the big <laughs> ones, uh, it's a little bit, it's a little bit bigger. Thank you again, SoCal Tropics. Thank you so much, Christy and Jack, for for allowing me and and us to to go into your house and and share your collection. And you know, just thank you for all the knowledge uh, that you've imparted, your your care tips. Yeah, it's it's been it's been a great ride and adventure. Um, thank you, thank you so much again for for sharing uh, with us. And um, you know, for, for everyone who's been watching, thanks again for, for, for joining us and, and I hope you guys have been enjoying the series. It, it was, you know, a pleasure and a privilege to, to film and, and put together for sure. Um, all right, so I think that's it for this episode. Till next time, happy planting. <laughs>